Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about making a um, a title intro where it's a um, a camera that zooms across the screen and moving a uh, moving some sort of camera or object using the animation inside of Unity. Um, basically, Unity. A lot of people have like cutscene editors. There's cutscene assets on the asset store. And uh, you don't actually need any of that stuff. Uh, all you need is Unity and this little animation bar. So you just want to get Add Tab and just do Animation. Basically, what I have is a main camera, and I wanted the main camera to make a sweep across the screen from one end of the scene to the other end. And uh, this was very easy to do with the. Uh, the animation so I select my main camera and I put an animation this thing right here and I add I uh, create animation by just simply clicking in the project menu and say create animation and it would create an animation I created these two animations and um, let me show you the first sweep is about this big and you have to control it using the sweep And you can see it in this little tiny menu here, like that. And uh, all you have to do is right here is uh, it says add keyframe, and uh, you just add a keyframe to each spot, and you just simply adjust it to exactly what you want. There's you know position, rotation, and in fact, what's cool is that you can change the uh, your scripts. So you can have scripts on here. You could change the variables. If there's any public variables, what's really cool is this thing called the um, event right here. You say add event, and you could add an event. And I added this event, and what the event does is it calls a send message on any of your components right here. And how that would work is that you would create a script. And I created this. It's called change animation, and you have to make it public. And it can only accept one um, one uh, parameter, only one, not two. It won't come up as two. How you can get around this if you have multiple variables is that you can get this animation event object, okay? And the event object has multiple, it has float, string, and an object. So you can even create your own object and just attach another object inside the animation event object. So here's event object string parameter which is the name of the animation and then float parameter which would crossfade it so what I've done is I said crossfade animation and it comes up right here this edit animation event crossfade animation float that's five so it's gonna take five seconds to crossfade and here's a string that is the next animation name so let's just go ahead and play that just to see what that looks like Let's just play it and see what it looks like. Well, I got my camera sweeping in the scene. It's coming in. And this, of course, works on iOS. And it's coming down. And it's going to send the event about right here. So it's going to cross fade. And, uh,. It's going to basically, what it crossfade into, this animation is just going to repeat itself. It's going to go back and forth until the player, of course, presses play or high scores. And uh, I'm using X2D, EX2D system, uh, best system out there that I, I've used. <sighs> but see how the animation just repeated itself. Now it's going to ping pong back and forth. Uh, between bat bouncing back and forth. So I've got nice animated intro. Everything works. It bounces back and forth. And it was very easy to make. I didn't have to buy any asset to do that with. I just used the animation in here. And uh, it worked great. Alright, thank you. And bye.